Hey there folks, this is DMC Jedi Man Gaming and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Been a while since I played some of this, but we're jumping back in today. Uh, sorry for the delay. I, I explained this in my uh, Lego Marvel episode I uploaded the other day, but I've been having some technical difficulties, so I stopped uh, recording videos for a bit until I was able to get a replacement camera and a replacement flash drive. Camera seems to be working good so far, at least. Flash drive, this is the first, uh, this will be the first test run of that. Hopefully, it was just a problem with the specific flash drive I was using. So, we're jumping back in. This is going to be the Evil Wizard Bobby's Machinations. Uh, before we do this, though, don't forget, if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you notified when I upload. Check out my main channel sometime if you like uh, trailer reactions, taste tests, unboxings, and reviews. And feel free to follow DMC Jedi Man Zen on social media. I'm currently on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Links, as always, will be in the description below. So let's get into this. Okay, get the recording started. Starting the recording right now. Okay. Recording has been started. The day of the World Tournament finally arrives, and Goku is reunited at last with his family and friends. The group then enters the arena. Who will emerge victorious in the tournament? Obviously, I'm still rocking the Goku shirt, you know, still waiting for... Well, they haven't even shipped out the Vegito shirt. It's like I, I paid for it, I'm waiting... Hopefully they get it sent out soon. I really will be pissed if I get all the way to Vegito and that shirt isn't here yet. That being said, I don't think we got to worry about getting there today. We should be able to finish up all of the stuff for the tournament today, though. Since we'll probably have to... We may have to do some... I've changed so much. I don't even think you will recognize me. Or even Krillin, for that matter. Yeah. Okay. Let me just take a quick peek. I just want to make sure there's no sub stories I'm missing. Okay. Yeah. You want to give me your recipe? Because I'll take your recipe. Gotta make sure. <laughs> Better make sure Vegeta's in the loop as well. My grandma told me stories about man in the orange outfit. I really hope I can meet him. The man in the orange outfit helped my grandma when she injured her foot. She'd go on and on about how she made him a tasty meal to thank him, and now she wants to cook for him again. Unfortunately, she passed away some time ago. I really want other people to taste my grandma's dishes, so here, please take this recipe. Alright. Also, I see a little thing here. The turtle school and the crane school meet face to face as Goku and Tien square off in the final match of the 22nd World Tournament. Tien had been making full use of the crane school's underhanded tactics. But through his fight with Goku, he is able to become a more honorable martial artist. The two fighters engage in an epic battle which pushes both of them to their limits. The match finally comes to a close. The deciding factor? A slight difference in luck between the two. Alright. But I see that other, uh, oh, there's one there too. Goku and Piccolo Jr. face off in the final match of the 23rd World Tournament. Piccolo Jr. reveals himself to be the reincarnation of none other than the dreaded Demon King Piccolo, sending the arena into a panic. Kami disguises himself and sneaks into the competition, hoping to kill Piccolo Jr. Unfortunately, killing the Demon King would mean killing himself. Hoping to avoid such a situation, 
Goku continues to fight. The day of the World Tournament finally arrived. Goku and Krillin now have a chance to put their training to- FUCKING HEY! The fucking game clip just fucking ended! Fucking Christ on a stick! I was hoping the fucking new goddamn flash drive would fucking fix this goddamn fucking shit! I'm not sure how much of that- <sighs> Hold on, I'm fucking checking something. Oh. Okay. That. Okay, hold on a moment. Capture settings. Because apparently somehow it's... Yeah. No, fuck you. Oh my god. Are you... <coughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to fucking use the old flash drive for one more fucking final time, because that one needs to be fucking formatted. Stupid goddamn motherfucker, cock fucking ass, everyone fucking be the doggy shit in your cock face. Stupid goddamn motherfucking asshole! me off. It's like I had a fucking plan and the fucking plan is ruined. Fuck! <sighs> Alright, let's try and set this fucking recording again. Starting the Second recording, right now. Now, before I even do anything more, I need to make sure that fucking... Okay, now it'll record for an hour. Fucking pisses me off, though. <sighs> Alright, let me start reading this off again. The day of the world tournament finally arrived. Goku and Krillin now have a chance to put their training to the test. Goku is reunited with Bulma, Poir, and Oolong, and Yamcha, who trained on his own in the mountains. Master Roshi gives his students special uniforms to show they belong to the Turtle School. The boys are now ready to enter the tournament. Better get moving, I guess. Oh, I see another one over there. The Turtle School goes head-to-head -head with its rival, the Crane School, in the 22nd World Tournament. The Crane Hermit, founder of the Crane School and rival to Master Roshi, brings his students Tien and Chaozu to compete. They appear in matching uniforms and hats then begin to mock Master Roshi and his turtle school. Also, they're not matching hats. Crane has an actual crane on his hat. Tien and Chaozu do not. Okay. So. I'm just looking around because I want to see is there any other... Uh, Oh, there is, uh, well, there's obviously that, but... That red glowing. 
All right, you don't see stuff of this quality every day. Okay, now let's, uh... Let's go and get this started. Let's see. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Yeah. Yeah. I should be good to go. Okay. Where is everyone? Oh, there they are. <sighs> hey, Gohan! Took your sweet time, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, this place sure is packed, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Pretty annoying, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's Mr. Satan! Look! Mr. Satan's here! Mr. Satan, huh? <laughs> Looks like Earth's Heroes has shown up at last. <laughs> Miguel, Hello to all my touring book. fans around the world. Are you ready? Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan! He sure is popular, huh? <sighs> it's Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! Have you seen my dad anywhere? No. No sign of him yet. Gohan, uh, I have to ask, are you really going to wear that? What could be taking Goku so long? Maybe he's already in the waiting room. <laughs> hey, guys! The evil wizard Babidi's machinations. Goku! Hey! <laughs> wow, you guys sure have changed a bunch. How have you all been? G Goku! It's good to have you back. Goku! 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 Dad! <laughs> huh? Look, Goten, it's your father! Whoa! That's my son? Wow, he looks just like me! <laughs> What's wrong, Goten? There's no need to be shy. His name's Goten, huh? I like it! You've got 24 hours. That's it. Thanks, Fortune Teller Baba! Yep, yeah, good old Fortune Teller Baba. Well, this is as far as we can go. Break a leg out there, guys. Thanks. We'll catch up with you later. See ya! Hey, Goten, want to do some exploring around this place? Yeah, that sounds like fun! Let's go! I wonder if we'll get to play All right, Goten. let's go check out what's going on over there! <laughs> Wait for me, Trunks! Okay! We do get to play as Goten! Okay, can't go to the world map. Stand around, I don't think this. I'm pretty sure that's Trunk. There's a couple other uh, stronger looking guys over here, too. 
Hey, uh, there's trunks! Look at all this stuff! This is cool! Hey, Goten, check it out! Look at all the places we can buy stuff! Yeah! What the? We should buy our mom something! Good idea! Let's check out what they've got here and then figure out what to get them. Yeah, let's go! Whoa, what's that? Hey, wait up! Okay, I think... Hold on. I'm just, uh... Checking on something. Okay, good. Man, I wish we could fight everyone too. Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to beat my brother or Vegeta. <sighs> but I bet we'll totally be able to beat them when we're older. Yeah. Let's check that out over there. Uh-oh. I think our moms might be looking for us. They're not gonna let us buy anything if they're angry at us. Uh, I know. We'll say you got lost and that I was looking for you. Yeah, that should work. What? I'm the one that got lost. That's how it's gotta be. It'll be more believable for me to look for you since I'm older. All right, peace. Uh, hey, that's not fair, Trunks. Goten, I found you! Yeah, sorry. I, I got separated. Oh, really? Don't you mean you were both wandering around? W what? Uh, how'd you know? Goten, you just gave us away! That's what I thought, Goten. It's rude to lie to people. That's right, Trunks. You're older and you should know better than this. We're sorry. We're sorry. All right, that's enough of that. Let's head to the arena. Right. If we don't hurry, there won't be any seats left. You ready, Goten? Yeah, I'm ready. What about the junior Meanwhile, Goku and the others made their way to the arena for the selection round. Jeez! Look at all these people! Attention all World Tournament participants! We will soon begin the selection process! It looks like this is the biggest turnout we've had in years! But only the best 16 of you will have a chance to compete! Since the returning champion, Mr. Satan, will automatically be allowed to compete, that means only 15 of you will be advancing! Let's find out who that'll be! To keep things fair, we'll be testing everyone's strength with this punching machine. Those with the 15 highest scores will be selected to fight in the tournament. Punching machine? What the heck is that? Let's see if any of you have what it takes to beat our champion, Mr. Satan's high score. We all do. We're expecting some great scores! Now, let's begin the World Tournament Selection Round! 
All right, well, this, and so the selection process for the world tournament began. Given their otherworldly strength, Gohan and the others were quickly able to secure spots in the tournament. Good thing we did all that training and made it through, huh? <laughs> Not like there was any worry there. Hmm? Greetings. You must be Goku. Huh? How do you know who I am? I've heard of you before. May I shake your hand? Sure. Uh, nice to meet you. Just as I'd heard, you have a good spirit. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. What? Who the hell was that? I'm not sure, but... You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that this tournament's not going to be a walk in the park after all. Everybody here looks like a pushover except those two. Hmm, what's with those guys? They look kind of weird. Like they're more powerful than they should be. So the world tournament was finally underway. Most of the Z warriors were spread out across the matches. However, Goku and Vegeta were fatefully paired against each other for the sixth match of the first round. Krillin set the tone for the tournament by making short work of his opponent in the first match. In the second match, Piccolo found himself standing before the enigmatic Shin. However, what is this? What is going on? Why am I having such a hard time with this guy? This isn't right. Who the hell is he? You'll find that out soon enough. Let's just enjoy the game for now. <gasps> Count me out. I forfeit. Huh? You forfeit? You're not going to fight anymore? That's right. I see. So he's the former guardian of this planet. Perhaps he's realized who I am then. Well, let's keep things rolling. Time for our third match. Next, it's Videl versus Spopovich. And the reason for the title of this video. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you're not. Uh, not what exactly? Uh, you're not the. Uh, the Grand Kai, are you? No, I am not. He's the Supreme Kai. The, the Supreme Kai? Please keep that to yourself for now. I don't want others to know just yet. So, you're even higher than the Grand Kai, who's above the four Kais. I mean, I'd heard about gods above the Kais before, but I didn't know they actually existed. Hey, Piccolo. Something wrong? Don't tell me that guy's already talking trash. You want me to have a word with him? No, go! No, keep your mouth shut. Do not say anything, you hear me? Huh? Meanwhile, Videl was trading blows with the muscle-bound Spopovich in the third match. Though Videl was a much more capable fighter, she was quickly overpowered by Spopovich's abnormal strength. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something seriously off about that guy. Like he's not using his own power. That monster! You gave it your best! Tap out! Just throw in the towel, Videl! Uh, no! Wait, I, I'm not giving up!
That's it. I've had enough. That jerk's going down. Hey, now. Okay, come on, take it easy, Gohan. No! That's enough, Spopovich. You've had your fun. We came here for something far more important than this. Hurry up and win the match. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Ring out! Spopovich wins the match! Fidel! Spovovich! <sighs> You're not gonna get away with this. You hear me? Should I call for a stretcher? No, I'll carry her myself. It's headed for me. You got it. If I win my next match, I'll be up against him in the fight after that. Go on. I've got some sensu beans. Thank goodness. Fidel, you're gonna have to trust me on this. But could you eat this bean? Anything from you. Probably has some mysterious power behind it, right? Yeah. I didn't prescribe that bean. You should be fine now. But it'd be best for you to take it easy for a while here. Thank you, Gohan. Gotta go. Everyone's waiting. found himself facing the mysterious Kabito in the fourth match. Transform into that Super Saiyan form of yours. I want to see if you truly have what it takes to help our cause. Huh? How do you know about Super Saiyans? And what do you mean, help our cause? You will find out soon enough. First, I want to see the power of a Super Saiyan. Uh, are you kidding? I can't just transform into a Super Saiyan in front of everyone. Hmm. I can't hear what they're talking about. He told Gohan to transform into a Super Saiyan. Gohan! Piccolo! What's up, Piccolo? You know what's going on? Uh, I'm not sure, but... <sighs> Our apologies, but Gohan will be assisting us with something for the time being. All of you must promise that you will not get involved, no matter what happens. I trust I can count on you. Uh, what? Wait, what do you mean? You honestly think we're just going to do whatever you say? Tell us who you are! Uh, he's, uh, the Supreme Kai. He rules over all the Kais. He's a god. Uh, oh yeah, that's right! King Kai told me about you. So you're the Supreme Kai. Huh. Alright, I'll transform into a Super Saiyan. Not sure why you'd want me to, though. Why don't I take it one step further and transform into something beyond a Super Saiyan? Take it to the next level. What? A super, super what? Saiyan? Beyond a Super Saiyan? 
This energy's incredible. That's our guy. He... he transformed! Gohan transformed! You gotta be kidding me! We're taking that energy. Make sure he doesn't try to escape, Spopovich. Right! There! Who are you? That's it! We've got enough energy now! Let's do it! Hopefully we'll actually get to do some real gameplay, because this is kind of, Wait, uh... Wait! Don't move! Yeah. Not yet! He'll be fine. Kabito will restore his strength shortly. I intend to follow those two and learn where they're taking Gohan's energy. If you wish to join me, you are more than welcome to do so. I could use your help. So, what are you gonna do, Goku? I'm gonna go with him. You heard him, didn't you, Krillin? He could really use our help in this. Besides, I have to know what this is all about. Uh, then I, I guess I'll go too. I don't think so, Kakarot. Did you forget about your match with me? Uh, come on! This isn't the time for that, okay, Vegeta? Don't blow me off! The actions of that supreme whatever aren't my concern in the slightest. All I care about is settling the score with you once and for all! That's the whole reason I joined this stupid tournament in the first place! I hear ya, I hear ya. It doesn't have to be here, but we'll fight later, I promise, alright? Idiot! You're only back from Otherworld for one day, remember? Hey, you should come to Otherworld with me. We can fight there! <laughs> Let's go! Tell me, can I really trust you with Gohan? It'll be fine. After I finish healing him, I will be joining you. I'm sure he'll follow soon thereafter. Damn it. All right. Wait up! So Off you've decided to come then? Yeah. Thank you. I don't think we have much of a chance without your help. Much of a chance? You mean against those two guys? No, not those two. They're merely pawns. At the beck and call of an evil wizard. A wizard? Yes. Right around the time mankind began to walk upright here on Earth, an evil wizard named Bibbidi lived in a distant corner of the universe. Bibbidi? One day, Bibbidi happened to create a terrifyingly powerful monster. That monster was Boo, an untenable and fearsome Majin. In a few short years, hundreds of once vibrant planets were reduced to nothing but ashes. Majin Buu's power was so great that even his creator struggled to control him. Bibbidi had no other recourse but to temporarily seal Majin Buu away. I was able to use that chance to defeat Bibbidi. However, I failed to realize that Bibbidi had a child. No. His son Bobbidi, who was filled with just as much evil as his father. There. You're healed, Gohan. <laughs> Wow, I feel great. Come with me. I will tell you everything. Can I come too? There's so much I want to know. Please? 
Can you just promise me you'll run if things get dangerous? Sure. All right then. Let's go. We'll just disappointed we didn't have the junior position. Majin Buu, huh? Wow. Okay. So, then, what were those Spopovich and Yamu guys doing at the tournament? In order to break the long-held seal on Majin Buu, a large, pure energy source is needed. Those two were sent to the tournament to gather that energy. We won't be able to reach the others at this rate. We need to increase our speed. I can't fly any faster than this! Okay, you'd better head back then. Things are far worse than I feared. Guess I'm gonna have to, huh? That's too bad. But I think I finally learned something. It wasn't my dad that beat Cell back then. It was you guys, right? Yep. Well, um... I knew it. I thought something was off when I heard my dad beat him. That clears things up. Good luck, Gohan. Pulverize that wizard Bobbity and save the world. Right. Don't die on me, Gohan. I want to go on a date with you when you get back. Are you done? We need to hurry after the Supreme Kai. Right. Sorry about wow. that. Kabito, I didn't think you'd speak to a warden. Okay, got a bunch of XP for doing absolutely nothing. A suspicious duo infiltrates the tournament, and the Supreme Kai and Kabito give chase. Gohan and the others meet up with them and learn of the evil wizard Babidi. Yeah, we're probably not going to go terribly farther than this. Like, I want to get through the fights with uh, Pui Pui and Yakon. I think after that, though, is where I'll call it. Like, it's not that I don't want to get the Deborah stuff done, too, but I want the Majin Vegeta stuff to be its own episode. And if we go much beyond the Yak on I wonder fight, what this Bobbity guy's like. Okay, let's go meet up with my dad and the others. Ah, we have, uh... We have side stories. Okay, well, maybe we'll actually uh, get some more uh, done. Where are we? Ah, Great West Desert area. That's a new area. Okay, we're going to do the sub stories uh, first. This is great! Look at all of this energy! Give me that D metal. Huh? Supreme Kai, where's Bobby? <laughs> Just ahead, along with Goku and the others. Alerting the wizard of your presence in your haste to find him would not be wise. That's why I've been waiting for you here. <clears throat> There's no need to go this far for the boy, my lord. Right not. It's quite all right. After all, I am a staunch believer in our new friend. Um. Uh, um. Sorry if this sounds rude, but the Supreme Kai is pretty high up in the cosmology of things, right? What? Extremely high up. And yes, you do sound rude. Just because you can hold your own in a fight doesn't give you permission to act a fool in the presence of the Supreme Kai. No. Uh, oh, I, uh, I didn't mean to offend. I was just curious about the Supreme Kai's strength, that's uh. all. 
What? How dare you? The Supreme Kai could destroy someone to Frieza strength in the instant if he chose. What? Really? Frieza? <laughs> what? Do you doubt what I say? Would you... You would doubt the Supreme Kai's judgment? Well, I, for one, doubt your group defeated Frieza at all. Huh? Mm. If you did best him, then prove it in combat. <laughs> Excellent. Gohan's power interests me as well. Okay. Oh. God, I don't know what that is, but... Far beyond Frieza. Hi. Sure thing. Where do you want to do it? Here? Afraid not. Yes, but not in the way you are imagining. Our code rarely allows for engaging mortals in physical combat. Furthermore, catching Bobbity's attention would prove detrimental to our talk. <laughs> Let us take our clash to a less tangible place. Our mental projections will battle it out. Hey, I've done that before. <laughs> Krillin and I passed the time in route to Namek using that same technique. I will project a mental version of Frieza. Defeat him. Right! Yes, sir. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna fight a Frieza. Full power Frieza at that. Oh, that's the same thing Gohan did against him in the movie in the Fusion Reborn. Oh, we've got the help, He sings now! Still have the help, dude, but... He sings now! There we go. Got him. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that won't be an S rank. That was from the A rank. Nice! Level up! So I I got a free heal out of it. My, my. Your power is extraordinary. Near ceilingless, I dare say. <laughs> wow, thanks. Uh, what? I was not aware that one of your abilities existed among the mortal population. Mm. If only we had met earlier. I could have entrusted you with the disposal of such sinister entities as free. Mm. He's that strong, my lord? The Supreme Kai rarely commands commends anyone to this extent. Mm. Consider it a great honor, boy. Right! N noted. Alright. No. Will that also give us a Supreme Kai, uh... Soul Emblem? Him and Kabito! Nice! Okay, Supreme Kai is best... Okay, they're both best in the, uh, 
the symbol area. So let's uh, get them set. Community of the Gods. <laughs> All right, he's in. The Supreme Kai and I are of one mind! That might be going a little too far, I'm afraid. After the previous tournament, the 23rd World Tournament is finally underway. Goku and his friends have grown considerably since, the last, since they last met, but the one who grew the most is Goku, who is now much taller. That, combined with his turban hiding his signature hairstyle, made it hard for everyone to recognize him at first. Just want to make sure this is still recording. Hmm. I'm the one that caused this problem, so I should be the one to resolve it. If this heats up, the village won't be able to recover. He looks like he's having a hard time. Um, um is everything what? all right? Hmm? Teaching for tomorrow. Is something wrong? Uh -huh. Wait, your Goku? Is that you? No. Huh? Oh no. Goku's actually my dad. Do you know my dad? Hmm. Uh, oh, my apologies. My name is Nam. Your father has done me many favors. I see. I'm Gohan. Um. I couldn't help but notice something seems to be bothering me. Hmm. Indeed. I'm a little embarrassed to say. You see, I'm worried about this village. <sighs> huh, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong to me. Indeed. This region used to be arid and devoid of water. We all struggled to raise our crops and provide for each other. But we've recently discovered that our village is home to valuable minerals that sell for a high price. Once people realized they could become wealthy quite easily, they began to abandon farm life. What? Really? And to make matters worse, people have stopped conserving the water we've stockpiled. They say we can just trade the minerals for water, but this place is prone to, fre prone to frequent dry spells. We could be stricken with an un unimaginable un drought at any time. I fear for the safety of my village. So that's what's got you so worried. Yes. Indeed, 
To be honest, I feel personally responsible for this, as I was the one who learned of the value of the minerals here. In my efforts to prepare for the worst, I learned of a crop that can survive drought, but is only grown a considerable distance from、hmm. here. I would travel there myself, but I can't just leave the village, especially not at a time like this. What should I All do? All right. I could head out and find that crop for you. Oh my! Really? That would be an immense help. Are you sure it's okay? Right. Sure. I've got no problem traveling long distances. So where can I find this crop? Indeed. Right. It can be found here. I've heard a farmer in that village is growing. That's all I know. Given that I haven't been there myself. Hi. Got it. I'll head out now. Watch it be TN spot. Hold on, no, I see something red. All right. Any other? Yes. All right. Ha! Another one of those. All right. In the semi-final match of the world tournament, Goku squares off against the serious and stoic Nam. Nam is eager to win the tournament and use the winnings to provide water to his drought-stricken village, but he is no match for the now stronger Goku and ultimately loses. Nam begins to leave, deeply upset that he is unable to return home with the money he had hoped to win. He is then greeted by Master Roshi, who tells him he is free to take the water at the venue. <laughs> Just grabbing a few things while I'm right here. Another D medal. Yeah. What's this? What's this? What's this? Come on, out of the. All right. Yeah. All right. Another D medal. I'm just going through grabbing all right much of the、uh, goodies here as I can. Yeah. Great. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Grab these over here. All right. After these ones. All right. That should.、Uh... No, not. All right.
Okay, I think that's everything we need to do there, so let's go to, to where we need to. West City, so I guess maybe the uh, farm isn't uh, TNs. You know what? I'm going to stop this recording and start up another one. Because I am so terrified of it just stopping on its own and losing out on stuff. Starting the third recording right now. Okay, third recording has been uh, started. Let's get this one done, and we'll get the, uh, the start of the Bobbity stuff going. The size of West City still surprises. Better get going and find that crop. I wonder if Bulma's home. This ought to be good. Um. Hey. Hi, stranger. What can I do for you? I've heard there's a crop here that can survive drought. Did you know anything about that? Yeah. Sure. That'd be the Golden Grove potato. Just plant the seeds and you're golden. That's why they call them that. Just one seed will produce enough crop to last you ten years. <laughs> That's gotta be it. I'm interested in some seeds if you got them. Mm. Yeah, I got them. I'm not looking to give them up, I'm afraid. If I just sold the stuff willy-nilly, there'd be nothing but potatoes as far as the eye can see around here. Is there any way you'd reconsider? You see, there's this village that's really struggling with drought. If there's anything I can do for you in return, I'll do it. Mm. Mm. You're really gunning for those seeds, ain't you? Alrighty then, here's what you can do. I'm told that the top prize for the upcoming bipedal robo walker time attack in West City is a top of the line tractor capsule. You get that tractor for me, and I'll give you the key. Right! Uh, okay, I'll finish that race and get you the tractor. Do I even have the necessary item to do that? First, I am going to see yeah. all your, uh, Ooh, friends. this ought to be good. Hey, this looks like some high-grade stuff. All right. Yeah. Oh. Hopefully I can actually do this time with that. Hey uh. Welcome to the bipedal Robo Walker time attack. You there. You look like you're itching for a challenge. Up for grabs is a new tractor capsule. All right. All right, time to run the race and get that top prize. <laughs> All right, let the time attack begin.
Okay, A's jump. Right, time to prove myself. All right, looking good. Check it out. Good. Check it out. Yeah. All right. Looking good. Check it out. Check it out. All right. Looking good. Ooh. Yeah. All right. That was fun. Please tell me I did enough to get that. <laughs> hey, congrats, my friend. That was one heck of a time. Here's your prize. You've earned it, champ. Okay, good. Great! I did it. I'd better head back to the farm. Whew! I'm glad I didn't have to build one. Um. I finished the race and I got the tractor you wanted. Hey. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think I get you now. We gotta have some real determination to finish that race. Okay. I can fork over some golden seeds to a guy like you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know what? You can keep the tractor, too. What? Huh? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were the real deal. Plus, them seeds are going to need that tractor to clear the land. Right! Wow. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Now, do we got to get our own selves back to uh, Nam, or will it fast travel us back to it? Hopefully, it'll fast travel us. All right, come on. Fast route, good. Right! I brought you some Golden Grow potato seeds. I even got a tractor capsule, too. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, I can't even begin to find a way to thank you. No. It, it's okay. There's no need to thank me. It was no trouble at all. Hmm. What's going on? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Take a look at this. It's a potato that can be grown even in drought. <laughs> Classic knob, always a worry ward. Things are different now. We can just buy more water. You need to loosen up, you know. <laughs> um. Tom, as you can see, that is the mentality of the people here now. Be that as it may, I will try to grow these potatoes you've brought. Hi! Great. Best of luck to you. Will we get Nam's uh, soul emblem? A short while later. Let's see how things are built. <sighs> Man, I'm hungry. <sighs> Somebody please go buy some food. We still got plenty of minerals to sell, right? <sighs> Who's gonna swap food for rocks? 
Besides, the nearest village doesn't have any crops because of the drought. <sighs> we should have been better prepared for this. They're in real trouble. Excuse me. Listen to me, everyone. Hmm. We have food. The Golden Grow potatoes I planted have ripened. We have enough food to go around for everyone. Whoa! Hooray! What do you think? So, will you finally listen to what I have to say? I do not intend to lecture you. I recognize that I was the one who told you of the valuable minerals. I am partially the blame for this mess. But let this be a valuable lesson for all of us. This is our chance to turn over a new leaf. Now is our chance to better prepare for whatever disaster may befall us. Right. Yeah. Hmm. You're right. All right. Let's try to get things right this time. Yeah! We better tell our kids about this so future generations don't make the same mistakes. <laughs> so, we are all on the same page now. If we all work together, we'll be okay. Oh, yeah! Right! Oh, my. Oh, Gohan, you've returned. Thanks to you, it looks like we'll be able to overcome this hardship. No. I'm glad I was able to help you out. You and your father have helped me in more ways than you can imagine. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. Thank you very much. You, you really don't have to, but, but thank you. Thank you. Oh no, it is I who should be thanking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. Alright, now that we get Nam Cole. I would imagine so, but I don't know for sure. Huh. Thank you. All's well that ends well. Okay, I guess I don't get a soul emblem from it. Let's go to the main map, just make sure there's no other side stories that have appeared. There's not. So now we'll continue the main story in hot pursuit. Yeah! Hopefully we'll be able to get Pui Pui and Yakon taken down quickly. This will be a cinch. Hey, it's my dad and the others. Someone's down there. Do you think it might be that Bobbity guy? No, that's not Bobbity. Someone's coming out. Dabura, curse that Bobbity. He's made the king of the demon realm nothing but his servant. Huh? Dabura? Which one's that? The big guy? Yes. Wait, so that means... The, the the little one over there is the wizard Bobbity? Correct. What he lacks in physical strength, he more than makes up for with his terrifying magic. Bobbity's greatest technique is his ability to latch on to the evil in one's heart and use it to bend the victim to his will. For this reason, only those such as ourselves, free from evil in our hearts, will be able to fight him. Oh my, this is completely full of energy. Well done, you two. This brings us closer to reviving Majin Buu. And it also means I have no more use for you. Pui Pui. Yes, sir. Well, my dear Deborah, it seems that Yamu and his friends have brought us some visitors, <laughs> just as I calculated. And with them, that infernal Supreme Kai who murdered my father long ago. 
Assuming we can't make use of the energy from the Supreme Kai and Kabito, three of the others appear to have more than enough energy for our needs. Once you eradicate the others, Deborah, I want you to then lure those three into the ship. That will afford us a much greater chance of absorbing their energy. Indeed. One more thing. Do not kill the Supreme Kai. I will personally see to it he receives a slow and painful death later. As you wish, Lord Bobbidi. Do not let me down. Sir, now then, it's time. <laughs> Capito! No! <laughs> what the? Uh, oh no! <laughs> Krillin! Piccolo! Don't touch them! They've both been turned to stone. They can't be restored unless Tabura is killed. Oh, is that all we have to do? Well, that seems simple enough. Leave this place! You will never be able to stop Lord Bobbity. Stop sounding like Ginyu. Let's that go! That is not Tabura's voice. Where are you going? Goku and Vegeta just got some free XP. Goku's at 63, Vegeta's at 65. Now I just want to check something. Okay. I was just curious if maybe this is the area where Fortune Teller Bobbitt's place is. Double check the main map again real quick. No substance. Yeah. Come on, Dad. Let's make short work of this guy and save Piccolo and Krillin. Now you're talking. <laughs> All right. So like I said, we're going to take care of Pui Pui and Yak on real quick, and that'll be where we wrap this episode up. If we actually end up having to fight them, which I think we should, considering the fact that Pui Pui was taken out by Vegeta and Yak on by Goku. We have both of them here, so I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to do it. Whoa, what is this place? Well, this is an awfully plain room. Be on your guard. We don't know what kind of traps they have in store for us. Now that I think about it, it's rather strange that you three weren't attacked at all. My apologies, but we're not the sit around and do nothing types. Lord Barbady is on the lowermost floor of this ship. Unfortunately, if you want to go down any further, you're going to have to go through me. So... In other words, this is where you all die! <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be so sure of that. So who goes first? I think rock, paper, scissors would be fair. <laughs> Fine. All right, guys, here goes. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Man. Good, looks like I'm up first. Uh, are you really going to fight him alone? Of course! Of course! I'm more than enough for this worm. <laughs> You're dumber than you look, you know that? Like I said before, you guys aren't getting past this floor. Any damage you take here will be converted into energy and absorbed by this room. And then sent directly to the ball that Majin Buu sealed inside. That's good to hear. Does that mean if I blow you to pieces right now, no energy will be absorbed? That's right. 
But unfortunately for you, that's not gonna happen! Enough talking. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Come at me! Oh dear, I can't have you damaging my ship. Uh, hey, what the... Whoa, what just happened? Where are we? Babadi used his magic to change the room. Most likely to a place that benefits his henchmen. So what? Yeah. Good, we do get to fight Queen. I'm going to end this quickly. I was just about to say that myself. I... <laughs> Like the gravity here is ten times stronger than Earth's. This is where I was born and raised. Yeah, what's your point? Gravity ten times stronger than Earth's is nothing. <laughs> it looks like they gave us the easy one first. One of them hitting me without taking any Unfortunately, it didn't end up working, but I still uh, creep. And I got a free level up. Well, not free, free, but may as well be free. <laughs> Damn that Bobbity. Doesn't he have goons stronger than this? Huh? Hey, check it out! A hole opened up in the floor! It looks like some sort of elevator. Uh, how... how did you do... that? Okay. Hopefully after the Yakon fight, we'll be able to stop and... we'll be able to save and stop. What gives? This room looks just like the last one. Whoa! Yeah, on. This guy looks pretty slow. Th that's that's Yakon, Demon Beast Yakon. In the interest of time, I'll transport you to your beloved home world of Darkstar and its pitch black environment. Make sure to retrieve plenty of energy for me. Luckily, <laughs> I have my own light source. <laughs> now, which one of you should I eat first? Also, not quite as pitch You're up against me! My first course! You think I'm gonna go down that easy? I wonder if it's going to transform me into a Super Saiyan or I'll have to do it. You should 
take us a little more seriously. It may be pitch black here, but we can still follow your movements. Things like changes in airflow give you away. Here goes! Try this! Try this! Try this! Come on! Try this! Try this! Whoa! Try this! 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 Yeah, I transformed because it's more accurate. Whew! If this is what they're throwing at us, then this Majin Buu creature must be a real weakling! What in the world are these people? I know what to do now. I shall handle these intruders myself. And in doing so, I should be able to retrieve more than enough energy for Majin Buu. But, but Dabura, if I lose you, then I'll have no further defense against them. Do you actually stand a chance? Stand a chance? <laughs> I am Dabura, king of the demon realm. No one in this universe has the power to defeat me. Okay. All right. Once we get to a point where we can save and stop, that's what we're doing. Uh, Deborah. I must admit, I'm impressed. Mortals like you were able to defeat Yakan. I must commend you for such an achievement. But this is as far as you will go. I will be your next opponent. No, I just realized something. Margin revival imminent. <laughs> If Bobbity is already resorting to dispatching his right-hand man, he must be getting quite desperate. Hmm. <laughs> That's quite enough of your useless chatter. Now, come at me, all of you! Wait a second. It's my turn to fight next. Come at me. What did you say? How dare you mock me, Lord Bobbity. Please, transport us to a more suitable location. I must show this mortal my power. Very well. Pa -pa 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 -pa! So we'll probably be thrown right into this fight. Gohan and company enter Bobbity's spaceship to thwart his plan to revive Majin Buu. They're greeted by a string of Bobbity's minions, the last of which is the king of the demon realm, Deborah. So yeah, I just realized, if they make us fight Deborah and don't let us save until after Vegeta becomes a Majin, as long as Vegeta gets to the tournament and does what he does there, my title will still work for this episode. Also, while I'm waiting, let's make sure. Okay, still recording. Good. Yeah, I'm so paranoid because I meant to use the new flash drive, but apparently I need to format it first. All right, time to make short work of this guy and save Piccolo and Krillin. So, to throw me right into the fight. No, they don't. Okay. So, 
first things first, let's check on, uh, on this. Okay, can't go to the world map, but that's fine. That being said, we are going to save and stop here. Ooh. Glad I was able to get it to where, uh, where we won't have to worry about the Vegeta fight this time. Oh, another thing I do want to check, though. Just curious how much, uh... Oh, well, there's some things that we could, uh, get here. Now, granted, it may be useless uh, unlocking these, because unless it saves it. Okay, can't do anything there. Now let's see what we can uh, do for Goku. Just gonna get all of these learned real quick. Lots of things I'm learning. Okay, we can do a couple more uh, things here. I don't think I can do a second one of those. Now, Vegeta, do you have anything? Yep. Probably gonna manually save it one more time after this, just to know that I've got everything saved. Now, do you have anything I can do here? Well, you have a slot, but I don't have anything I can put there. Okay, save this one more time. So that's going to be it for this. I do hope everyone enjoyed this episode in spite of the rough uh, start to it. I'll be back with another episode soon. This has been DMC Jedi Man Gaming, and I am signing out. Peace, everybody.